Hi, welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so excited that you've decided to join me today. I'm excited to share this snowman Christmas card where I'll be doing some ink blending and paper piecing techniques. And this is what I've used for my inspiration for today. This is the My Favorite Things Weekly Sketch Challenge number 515. I've used the stitch circle dies as well as the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Label dies. This is how I'll be cutting out my banners. For um, the paper piecing, I'm using the My Favorite Things Over the Rainbow paper pad and also the My Favorite Things Sweet Snowflakes Dynamics and the Frosty Friends stamps, Stamp and Die Set along with some Distress Oxide inks. So let's get started. I've already cut out my stitch circle using a piece of turquoise cardstock and now I am taking some Broken China Distress Oxide ink and I'm just blending it around the edges using my scrapbook.com domed foam applicator. I'm just working my way toward the center. It's almost the exact same shade, but I wanted it to have a little bit of contrast. And then next I'll be adding some Distress Oxide ink as the, um, I started out actually just, I wanted to do around the edges, but then I decided I needed something for the snowman to stand on. So I started building up um, the ground using some black soot. So I started blending these two together and I know that it's kind of defeating the purpose using the same color, but what I really like about Distress Oxide inks is that they react to water and that was my whole plan was so that I could sprinkle some water on here and make it look like falling snow. So here I'm just going back and forth kind of blending between the two colors. taking my distress sprayer and I'm lightly spritzing this with water and then I'm dabbing up the excess water with a paper towel adding a little bit more and so now let's move on to the banners I've already cut these out using the sentiment labels dies and I'm just trying to figure out placement here wasn't sure which of the two banners I wanted to use I knew I wanted to use the green for the scarf on the snowman and I wanted it to match the banner but I wasn't sure if I wanted to put the green in the back or the green on top. So I decided to go with the one on top and then for the back banner I'm going to be using this black mirrored cardstock from Tonic Studios. So now that I've cut that out I'm just laying it here to figure out where I need to cut this off so that it looks like the sketch. And I'm just trimming this off with my Tim Holtz mini snips. Okay, so moving on to stamping out my images. Again, this is the Frosty Friends stamp set for My Favorite Things. And I am inking the stamp up with some Memento Jet Black ink. I usually um, like to use my microfiber cloth to press down just so that I make sure I have a good even impression and I usually go over it twice. The reason I'm using this Memento Jet Black ink is because it's Copic marker friendly and I do plan on coloring just a little bit of the snowman um, and I always like to do more than one just in case I mess up on the coloring. Now I did stamp out the sentiment that says there's no one else like you because I thought that I was going to use it. I actually stamped it with some Ranger Archival ink and then coated it with some clear embossing powder and heat set it and everything. But I ended up not using it, so I decided just to delete that footage. But here what I'm doing is just stamping out the same snowman on that same piece of paper that I used for my banners. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can cut out the scarf. I thought about cutting out the little mittens, but they're just too tiny and I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be able to fussy cut those out and get them to look right. So I just decided to stick with the scarf. I went ahead and cut out those snowmen using the matching die set. Now this is an embossing folder that I got in a box of stuff from a yard sale. So I don't know who makes it, but it looks like um, it's different size circles. So to me, it looks like falling snow. So I've run that through my big shop machine and now I'm just trimming down the piece because this is going to go on top of the frame. I'm using that same turquoise color as the frame that I've cut down to four by five and a quarter. And now I'm taking my Copic markers and I'm taking the cool grays C0 and I'm just giving a little bit of shadow 
next underneath the scarf and next to where it would lay and then also between the two I guess circles or balls of snow <laughs> um, and I'm just running it along the edges here Now for the carrot nose, I'm using orange YR68, and then for the mittens, I decided to go with a red, which is R46. Okay, so now for the paper piecing, I'm using my Nouveau glue pen, and I'm just dabbing this on to the back of the green scarf that I cut out and placing it directly on top of the white scarf. Now I forgot to mention that I did use a piece of Simon Hurley stark white cardstock to stamp out my images and I've also used it as my card base so I've trimmed it down to a top folding card at four and a quarter by five and a half and now I'm just gluing down my pieces. I like to use Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Liquid Glue because it gives me time to get the pieces exactly where I want them. And plus when you're using an embossed background like this one, it'll get down into those nooks and crannies. So here I'm just trying to figure out where I need to cut off the edge of this circle. And I marked it with my fingernails, but then I realized that I couldn't, couldn't see it. So I had to do it again and break out my little tweezers. I love these tweezers, but I can't remember where I got them. Now to keep my layers even, because I'm placing this on top of that black piece, I did have to add a half circle to the back of this turquoise piece so that it wouldn't be, what, what part of it wouldn't be lifted up. Now the sentiment that I had stamped out earlier, I tried cutting it out and placing it on here, but I just couldn't find a good spot for it. So I decided to switch to a smaller sentiment that came with this stamp set. Um, this one says, you melt me. And I decided just to stamp it right on top of the snowman. And I, I stamped this with Ranger Archival ink because it stays wet so that you can heat emboss it. So um, I did use my anti-static powder tool on top of the snowman before I stamped this down. And here I'm just coating it with some clear embossing powder and I'm using my paintbrush to wipe away the excess and then heat setting this using my heat tool. Earlier I had cut out these snowflakes in both the turquoise and the black using the Sweet Snowflakes Dynamics and I struggled with how I wanted to place them on the card but then I put them on top of each other and I really liked kind of that shadow look so um, I decided to put the black on the bottom now because it was a glossy mirrored cardstock I had trouble with them sticking so I ended up having to switch over to the deluxe adhesive and that worked much better but here I'm just placing them on the card and um, then pretty much finishing finishing this up So I'm adding some 3D foam squares to the back of my snowman so that I can give him some dimension. And then I felt like the card needed something else, but I couldn't figure out what. But after getting the snowman on, I realized it needed some, some shine, because usually I have lots of glitter and lots of shine. So I decided to take my glossy accents and I am just putting this over on top of the buttons and his eyes and in the middle of those snowflakes. But I ended up um, adding even more shine to it. Um, I'm, I've used my, what is this, the Wink Estella glitter pen to put on his mutt, mit, mutton, mittens. <laughs> his mittens. And then I have this um, Sparklets blend. This is called, what is this called? Hold on. Okay, it's the Fun Flories. Flories. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't talk today fun flurries and this is by buttons and galore 
and I'm just putting some sequins and then there's some little iridescent snowflakes on here. They're pretty tiny, but I thought that they added a, a really nice touch to this card. So this is my finished card. I hope you really like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of my subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cards by Kendra. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.